good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're going to be taking you through my AEW action figure collection guys AEW if you guys do not know what AEW it is a brand new wrestling promotion that is having their first ever show double or nothing this Saturday night the company is pretty much run by Cody Rhodes the Young Bucks Kenny Omega and the Khan family and they will be airing their wrestling shows in the fall on national television on TNT Network but they're having their very first show tomorrow night it is double or nothing live from Las Vegas and this is a follow-up show to their first ever you know thrown together pay-per-view produced by Cody and the Bucks and, you know, Omega and everybody involved all in, if you guys remember that show from last year. And come fall, after this after this one show on Saturday night in the fall, we will have a full week-to-week -week storytelling wrestling show, just like Monday Night Raw or SmackDown Live, but it will be AEW, not WWE. And it's kind of cool because we have action figures of guys that are in that company. I'm super excited for it. If you guys do not know what AEW is, I highly suggest you research it and find out because it looks like it's going to be absolutely fantastic and I am, I am super excited for it. But I do have a lot of customs of guys that are in there. I also have some guys that, you know, have left WWE and we also have some guys that are rumored to show up on Saturday night. So if you guys are not going to watch Double or Nothing, I highly suggest that you do because we could see some returns some of, of some wrestlers that we have missed in WWE. We may see some epic guys show up. But today I'm going to take you through my figure collection that consists of guys that are in AEW or rumored to be in AEW or, you know, everything in between. So let's go ahead and dive right in, guys. I guess we could start off with the main class right here, guys. We have the best wrestler in the world. We have Kenyu Omega. He's also the Vindication Elite Champion. That's why he has the, uh, you know, the whatever. If you're watching this video and you don't follow the pick fed or you don't know what that is, then go go look up the MDT Wrestling playlist and go ahead and watch that. But we have Kenny Omega, guys. Gonna definitely be a top player on AEW television. And I think that he should be the, worst, the first world champion. You know, I think it just would make a lot of sense. And it should be very cool to see him on a week-to-week -week basis. I think that America and everything will quickly realize how good this man is at wrestling, and hopefully, you know, they, they can storytell and, you know, book everything correctly to where, you know, everybody will care about him. Next up, guys, we have the Young Bucks, and the Young Bucks are probably the greatest tag team in the entire world. If you guys did not know that, if you've never seen them wrestle, you definitely need to go check them out. Just, just, just use YouTube search it. Kenny Omega highlights or Young Buck highlights or, or full matches or whatever and just go check them out. But they're also the MDT Tag Team Champions on Vindication. So there they are and I can't wait for them to take on the Lucha Bros guys. It's probably going to be one of the matches of the night so um, I highly suggest you order Double or Nothing. You know, if you can't if you can't order it, you know, if you don't have enough money or whatever the case, just look up how to watch it, how to stream it. There's going to be some free stream out there. Go ahead and find it. But the Young Bucks are absolutely fantastic and I cannot wait to see them go one-on-one -on -one or two-on-two, -on -two, I should say, with the Lucha Bros on Saturday night. Next up, guys, we have a newest member that they announced. Uh, if you guys can see, there's like some red on his face. It's from the Royal Rumble and where he bled or whatever. But Ty Dillinger, guys, Ty Dillinger is signed with AEW. It was announced on Instagram by him and AEW themselves, but he is not going by Ty Dillinger anymore. He will be going by his real name, Sean Spears, and I think he can still keep the Perfect 10 gimmick. I don't think WWE owns the gimmick rights, so I think he will be the Perfect 10 in AEW. I'm not exactly sure, but he is competing in a 21-man battle royal at Double or Nothing, and he will be competing for a championship opportunity in that battle royal. So high stakes for Ty, Ty Dillinger this Saturday at Double or Nothing. Next up, guys, we have probably the guy that it's all about. We have Cody Rhodes. And speaking of that, we have one more member of the Rhodes family in there that I forgot to mention, and that is his brother, Dustin Rhodes, or Goldust. Yes, these guys are going one-on-one, -on -one, brother versus brother at Double or Nothing. I can't wait for it. I hope they give us the matchup that we've always wanted between the two, and it should be interesting. You know, I'm not that invested in it, you know, but I hope that, you know, they, they can pull us to a great match, and I hope that they will. Cody Rhodes is also the Iron Man champion on Vindication, you know, Bullet Club holding all that gold over there. I forgot to mention that Goldust is also on the roster, and uh, this is a great figure, man. Just look at it. But he will be not wrestling under the name Goldust. I think WWE most definitely owns that name. So I think he will just be going by Dustin. And these two will be going one-on-one -on, -one on Saturday. But Cody Rhodes is, you know, uh, him, the Bucks, and Kenny. Without them, the, the AEW would not even be a thought. So next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have two huge names. The rest are going to be rumors. But two huge names that are signed with AEW. Guys, we have Neville or Pac or Pac, whatever you want to call him, is also signed with AEW. And he is going to be 
be definitely a big player for them. I can't wait to see Neville over on AEW television. That's what everybody knows him as, but he had to change his name, obviously, because he is not with WWE anymore. And then we have the legendary, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, Chris Jericho, is over in AEW, and this name right here is going to create a lot of buzz. He is going to be drawing a lot of viewers towards AEW just by the signing of Chris Jericho. He's a brilliant mind for the business. He has a lot of creative ideas and storylines and stuff. I mean, for the better part of, what, 2017, he was probably the best thing going on WWE television. And then years prior, guys, I mean, he has always been one of my favorites growing up, and I can't wait to see him shine and evolve and do more with AEW because he's going to have a lot more creative freedom. I think he can be an absolute sadistic heel. Uh, you know, it's a, with a TV-14 rating, I think AEW is rated TV-14 just like uh, the Ruthless Aggression Era and all of that. So the wrestling is going to have some edge on TNT with AEW, which I'm very excited about. And Neville, the same thing. I think that he was definitely, you know, put inside a cage and he was not allowed to show his full character. And I think that both of these guys will probably be the top heels in AEW. And I'm super duper excited to see where these two go, guys. I mean, my God, it's just so nice to see a breath of fresh air in professional wrestling. We're actually going to be seeing some, some things outside of WWE. It's just it's nice to have, you know, a good big alternative than just uh, the weekly Monday Night Raw product that I'm not that big of a fan of that hopefully, you know, will improve with the presence of AEW. But Neville slash Pac and Chris Jericho are two of the biggest signings and I had to include them here in this figure collections of AEW wrestlers. And the next few guys are rumors and I know they're big rumors but I think that, uh, I think John Moxley or Dean Ambrose is pretty much confirmed for this show. I mean, he is heavily rumored. Um, the other two, Jack Swagger, I think he could show up in that casino battle Royal, that 21-man battle royal. I think it's rumored he shows up in that, and that'd be cool. I love Jack Swagger. I'm a big fan of him, so I would be all for him showing up. I'm not sure if he would be fully signed, because, you know, he's doing his MMA stuff, and I, I can appreciate him. He, he's 2-0 in his MMA career, so I don't know if he would show up and stay, but maybe he'll show up for a one-off appearance, so we could see a Jack Swagger appearance on Saturday night, and the two big names, CM Punk, guys, I, I know it was, it was said that um, the Young Bucks, I think, were the ones that talked to CM Punk and they said if you ever change your mind about coming back to wrestling if you ever want to wrestle again the Young Bucks were the first ones that he said that he would call Phil Brooks aka CM Punk said that the Bucks or Cody would be the first ones that he called and I think it would make for an epic surprise guys uh, and Cody Rhodes and Brandy Rhodes and everybody has been hyping uh, has been hyping Double or Nothing up so much and they ha I have heard some people say that they are trying to make it the best wrestling show of all time and I saw an interview that talked about about, you know, uh, the, the interviewer asked, is there going to be any surprises at the show? And Cody responded and said, it wouldn't be a wrestling show without surprises. And it's, it's you know, I know that we always talk about CM Punk and WWE, but this is a legitimate shot, guys. I mean, this is going to be completely different than, than WWE. And I think that CM Punk could possibly show up. I really genuinely think so. I think that he could explode the IWC and just blow up the internet, man. I think it would be an amazing wrestling moment with CM Punk returning to wrestling and AEW maybe winning that you know that battle royal because if you win the battle royal you win an AEW world championship opportunity the winner of Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega and the winner of the battle royal will go one on one how freaking epic would it be if it was CM Punk winning the battle royal or John Moxley aka Dean Ambrose winning that battle royal and then going on to fight Kenny Omega my god guys just bursting with freaking surprises and just epicness there but the last guy is Dean Ambrose guys obviously walked away from WWE and you know he up, he, if you guys didn't know, he created a new Twitter account under his old wrestling gimmick name, John Moxley. And uh, it says professional wrestler. He uploaded this vignette of him breaking out of a jail cell and, you know, escaping this jail. And it was like sort of like some symbolism of him breaking out of the cage that WWE locked him in and, you know, breaking out and having some freedom and stuff like that. So I think we're going to get a John Moxley sighting at AEW. And hopefully, you know, I, I hope he goes there and tears it down, man. He, he was just too talented, and um, I know they can't push everybody, but I think his character could get a lot better um, away from Vince McMahon and the creative team of WWE. But that is pretty much it for my AEW figure collection, guys. We went a little bit longer than I expected, but I just, uh, I know they haven't had a show yet under the name AEW. I know that there's a lot of hype around this this company, and I know that a lot of people are totally writing them off immediately, but I just, I don't think that's the right mindset, guys. I hope 
that you have an open mind and that you want to watch AEW. Maybe you're not going to order Double or Nothing. I highly suggest that you do. But if you don't want to, I understand, you know, that they're going to be on weekly television come fall, and I hope you guys check it out. But I'm just saying that Double or Nothing, we could see Dean Ambrose. We could see CM Punk. We could see some surprises and stuff, and I just don't think you would want to miss that. But I'm just happy to have some other wrestling that we can turn to. I just think that the WWE product has been formulaic and boring. You guys know my rants and stuff. I think that it's been very repetitive for a long time, and I think that, you know, AEW is going to give them a little shot in the butt to, you know, produce better television and maybe, you know, make them a little bit better. And I hope that everybody uh, comes to love both companies. And, you know, it, there's always going to be your hardcore one side and hardcore the other side, which is unfortunate. But I am rooting for both companies. I want both companies to do really well. But I'm very excited to see where these guys go because they have some of the best talent in the world. And I'm so excited to see where they go. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comment section below if you will be ordering Double or Nothing. Let me know if you're going to be checking out AEW or are you excited for it? Do you think that, you know, the stupid t-shirt company, even though they have a TV deal, guys, I don't think t-shirt companies have TV deals. So that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.